Hey guys, Brandon Willem, CCM Magazine. We are hanging out here in Nashville celebrating the Grammy nominees with Joe. Yes, Mariah. and my wife, Mariah. <laughs> the no, ones. Luke. Yeah, Luke I've got my didn't want to come here tonight. Today. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, we're celebrating the Grammys today, but we talk about the Grammys every year. And the right. last time I saw you guys, you just refused to talk to me about movies because the actor strike was still on. So now that that's done, I think we have to talk about some movies today because I don't know when I'll Let's catch do you it. again. We didn't have a choice in the matter. I know. Really I tried, tried so hard to get it you out of here. did try hard. All right, before we get to that, shout out to Jordan Sparks for featuring on Love Me Like I Am. To Michael Pollack and Josh Kerr for riding it with Luke and me. Uh, to God for giving the great intervention while I was sleeping the night before the song right to give me the phrase, love me like I am. And uh, for the Grammys for this, this great honor yeah. to be uh, nominated once again. So. And just go back to the Dove interviews. We talked all about the song with you guys and Jordan yeah. there at the Dove. Right. So you can know You're all right. about it. So now that. let's get to movies. And this week, you literally just put out a, uh, a new song or an old song that's reimagined and kind of gave us a teaser of what could be to come you released a song with michael w smith or one of michael's songs yeah a new version of it kind of talk to us about that and maybe what we should expect in the coming uh weeks or months with more music it sounds like that is similar to this well when it rains it's it pours because mariah and i were fortunate to be part of a, a christmas musical last year called journey to bethlehem uh that follows mother mary's story uh she plays mary's sister in it and i play the son of herod which who was played by antonio banderas and uh, more recently, we've been gearing up for a, uh, it's a 90s film. It's a true story about a mum and her six kids and her husband who'd lost everything moving from Australia to the United States. It's actually our parents' migration story. And uh, it's being released on the 26th of April through Lionsgate. The 26th of April happens to be our parents' 49th wedding anniversary. And as you well mentioned, we have just started the first uh, drop of music from the picture. It's not a musical, but it's really laced with a whole load of great 90s music, one of which uh, on both the film, in both the film and the soundtrack is uh, Place in This World by Michael W. Smith. And so we invited Michael, really asked him rather, if we could do a, a cover, an updated cover of his 1991 hit song and uh, we were honored that he said yes he also sung on the track with us played piano with us and it actually if I dare say it's it's turned out really beautiful we're all really proud of it and there will be many more tracks with many more features to come and a little spoiler for you it's the most features we've ever had on a record wow. to date Wow. And you guys have been all about the features here lately, so yeah. that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Can you tell us how many songs are going to be on this inspired project? Are you just, this guy, he's always trying all to, the dirty details. Yeah, I've got to be the contemporary Christian investigative uh, um, journalist. Well, it's there's either 11 or 12, because we might be sneaking one more on in the 11th hour. And if not, probably a du deluxe edition after the film, right? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> have to wait and see. All right, go see uh, that film in April. You can go ahead and see the uh, Journey to Bethlehem. It's out yeah. there streaming right now, I'm guessing. It is, yeah. 